Hey, good morning. I don't know what to say. It's kind of goose chase and uh, I don't get paid. Working like a donkey, seeking a... I mean, it's not seeking, it's a passive acceptance of authority to gain safety. While they build the crime and I have to accept the authority to safeguard myself from the crime built and being uh, sent to a rehabilitation or uh, a correction center for not even committing a crime or even thinking about it. And unfortunately, it's been five years now that I've received my payments. I don't want to work for people. I don't want to safeguard these people who talk bullshit about my mother. Even the whole public is paralyzing my mother's sentiment. I don't want to save their lives. I'm done. I deserve respect for what I've done. I'm not an Indian public service to warm the chair and collect my paycheck. Though I'm waiting, working for five years now, dawn to dusk, day and night, going on a long run, out of the couch and now in the middle of uh, a highway, I'm, I'm preparing the reports and I'm working on things, but now no more the game. Unless and until I get my payments. And even if I get my payments, I wouldn't be doing anything for Indian government. I made my mind. I mean, it's not about being patriot and serving the nation because uh, the nation is fucking my life. On top of that, with a very small little money that I get for pocket money from my dad, even that does snatch it for work. They don't let me have a quality food. It's been, it's been quite some time I had a quality food, quality lifestyle. I worked for such a morons who are sucking my blood and uh, fucking want vultures staying in the neighborhood. I'll explain everything in detail. There's no more uh, uh, recreating of uh, crime construction and the events and the series of events to be reconstructed and documented. I'll give you whatever happened over verbally and video call and upload the documents. You know, it's been worst. It's been worst. After all, after they get their commercial, realized I am uh, someone who's suffering from a mental disorder. Isn't it? It's worst game. Literally, worst is not the word. And I have to leave this nation forever. Forever I'll leave this nation. And I want to go settle somewhere under the hoods in British or America. British is the first thing that I would prefer. You taught me a lot of things, British. And what you told me, I take back my challenge and I don't want to win. I don't want to win against the... I can win, but I don't want to take all this unnecessary pain and working like a slave, shelling out all my pocket money, stealing stuffs and getting things done for... Uh, Safety of these people and these people steal all my preparation and I don't even get credit. Not even uh, compensation for what I've done so far. And I know respect from people who are in the authority doing nothing for their job. They don't know how to give justice for their paychecks. Please facilitate something for me to get immediate funds or I'll probably drive taxi. I'll drive taxi, I'll... Uh, Arrange some funds. I mean, they have taken my. Seems uh, they, my my passport is missing. The interrogator took me out of town when I was supposed to cast vote. He took me away from the city. He didn't let me cast vote. I don't want to stay in the nation where my where my rights has to be obtained by fighting like a freedom fighter. There's no end for this. This is a never-ending battle. I understood it very late, very late, like a like a buffoon or an idiot. It's all worse, man. People, people con, people cheat, and that's the way they live life. And this is a drama of uh, the triple five. L L L, Lama Linga Laddi. You know what? He is the one after my life. Who is the one who screwed my life? Let him stay here like a leader who's fucking everybody's life and making, building wealth, acquiring wealth and playing with my life. You kill him, you do whatever you want, but just let me go out of the nation. I don't want to work for Indian government anymore. I won't step out of my house until I get my payments. All I would step out is for riding bike taxi 
or a taxi or earning some money for me to migrate from this place to another place. I can't witness the same face and uh, tolerate the frustration and uh, enormous amount of emotional pain that pops out. My psychological injury is not curing. And I need medications, not the one that the doctor prescribes. He is a buffoon who works for money. There's a limit for everything. I'm 40 years old. I'm not earning even a single pie, a single rupee. You understand that? I, I feel like crying, but tears are not coming out. I'm not in that mood. You'll have to understand that everybody deserves a quality life. I suffer. I make the preparation. I do everything. I'm extremely sorry for stopping the biological war. You can go ahead with whatever you want. I won't intervene with whatever decision you make. Going forward, you can, you can take it as approval. Approved for anything that you request, anything that, you're, that you want my approval for, you need not even ask me. You can go ahead with what, you, what, you make, what, what conscious decision that you're making. I shouldn't have stopped you from killing, killing all this... Uh, most people there, they are worse than vultures. Everywhere, everywhere they're after the fucking money. They snatch my employment, they snatch my literacy, they snatch my right to hoist the national flag and I don't want to stay there. You know what I'm talking? No matter where I go, no matter which minister I approach, which administrator, service officer I approach, I mean they don't know what I'm doing. They can't even understand. So there's no more preparation. I'm not teaching anybody. First, make sure that you make the payment by depositing it in my bank. I will not do any business. It's not my business. Okay, and I will not spare IBM and SAP for playing with my life and making me a scapegoat. You people are worse than vultures. In the process of uh, fulfilling your business acquisition, you ruined my life. Ruined is not the word. You raped it royally. And I'm not going to work anymore. Thank you for everything. Okay? It's an awkward moment. After all, uh, Netherlands uh, has offered me an asylum. I will probably try something to migrate. I will not stay here. Facilitate to get my passport and I will leave. All I need is some food and I will work. I'll work so efficiently that you'll be surprised to look at a person working so efficiently and fulfilling all your, uh, all your expectations. You deserve a quality life. You deserve me, British. I should have listened to you. I am the final goal. You were right. And that's the reason you were ruling the whole world. It was a stupid challenge. I give up. I don't want to win. I resign from all my duties with the Indian government service and I'm not stepping out. This local member of MLA has raped my life, abducted my professional and personal life for his political benefits and financial favors to achieve his material wealth. And the neighbors are worse than vultures. No wonder, no wonder you people will suffer. That's the reason he fought with me to get you killed. I don't know what to say. That enormous amount of money. 